To get to the bottom of why this mystery ape looks and acts like a human being, we need to delve deeper into his origins. Oliver comes from a part of Central Africa, where traditionally some people live cheek by jowl with our ape cousins. In this remote village, several chimps are kept as household pets, although their status within the family is very low. It's thought that up to 78,000 chimpanzees live in the wild in this part of the world. Could Oliver be the offspring of some unspeakable union between human and chimp? Could this account for Oliver's strange human-like behavior and appearance? With chimps living so closely to humans, such a union, while highly unlikely, is not beyond the bounds of possibility. I thought that he had been crossed with a human being. I thought somehow, somewhere, someone had uh, played a very dirty trick. And this was the remains, so to speak. Uh, to this day, I believe that there's something in there that makes him human. If that's true, then we need to ask, is it scientifically possible for two different species to produce a hybrid offspring? Are there any precedents in nature for such a creature? Come here. Dr. Bhagavan Antl runs the Institute of Greatly Endangered and Rare Species in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. He has successfully mated two species to produce hybrid offspring called ligers. The laws of nature apply to big cats as well as primates. Genetically, ligers are 50% tiger and 50% lion. Here on my right we have a Bengal tiger. She's about a year and a half old and she's got that bold black and orange striping. And then on my left we have a young lion about the same year and a half old who you can see has a much more tawny pale coat. And obviously the mix of the two right here, or the shadow striping and his bold markings, show us the liger. He's a liger because his father is a lion, his mother a tiger. Oh boy. That's the baby. Now meet the adult. If you haven't come across a fully grown liger before, then this is the largest cat you're ever likely to see. Samson, hup, hup, down, down. It's theorized that ligers are this enormous size because the inhibitor growth gene exists in the female lion and in the male tiger. So when you switch around and you get a male lion breeding with a female tiger, creating the liger, you get this gigantic size. Nothing tells it when to stop. In the wild, this enormous size wouldn't necessarily be of any advantage because it would require so much more food. Samson here can readily eat 25 pounds of food in a sitting, where an adult lion can subside on 7 to 10 pounds of food. The territories of a lion and tiger don't overlap in the wild. If a tiger did meet up with a pride of lions, it's more likely to end up in a fight than romance. So captive breeding is the only way to produce what is the largest cat in the world. Come here. There it is. Up, 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 up. There it is. Up. Height, height. Get close to him. The liger is living proof that two species who would never meet up in the wild can mate and produce offspring. It works for cats, but how alike are primates? If you were to mix up human DNA and chimp DNA, what would happen? If you take one strand of human DNA and heat it, the double helix splits into two separate single strands. Chimp DNA will unravel in the same way. After cooling down, a human strand will pair up with another human strand, the chemical bonds matching up like the rungs in a ladder. That is what nature intended. 
However, if a single strand of human DNA is swamped by enough chimp DNA, it will eventually pair up. The chemical bonds between the two strands don't match up exactly, but there's enough common ground to form a double helix. We share at least 99% of our basic biochemistry uh, in common with each other, and I would be surprised, therefore, if humans and chimpanzees couldn't hybridize. The real question, however, is if humans and chimpanzees did hybridize, would those hybrids be reproductively viable? Hybrid animals, such as the liger, are usually sterile because sterility is nature's way of preventing different species from crossbreeding. For example, if you cross horses and donkeys, which are different species, you get hybrids called mules, and mules are almost always sterile. If a human-chimp hybrid were fertile, it would mean humans and chimpanzees are members of the same species, forcing us to re-examine the whole idea of what it means to be human. It's not possible to say if Oliver is fertile, as he's never been attracted to female chimpanzees, and as a consequence, has never mated. Back in 1976, when Janet Berger was looking to sell the over-amorous Oliver, his picture appeared in a magazine. It caught the attention of a New York attorney. So fascinated was he by the creature in the article that he just had to go and see Oliver in person, 